Are you dealing with a high blood pressure, heart failure, edema, kidney problems, or maybe excessive hair growth? Then it might be that your doctor has prescribed you spironolactone. In this video, we will cover how and when to use it, what side effects it can cause, what dosage you need, and much, much more. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. For those of you I'm meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands, and it's my mission to medically educate you. So make sure to watch the whole video, and let's get learning. As mentioned, the generic name of this medication is spironolactone, and it's available under the brand name Aldictone, available as a tablet and an oral suspension. Which brings us to how to use it. If you want to use it as a tablet, just swallow it whole with half a glass of water. And if you want to use it as an oral suspension, first shake the bottle before use. Next up, measure the correct amount you want to use using a measuring spoon or a measuring cup. Take this amount and afterwards, rinse the cup or the spoon with water and drink that water as well. Just a tip, always take spiron and lactone with some food. This might decrease certain side effects you might experience. Spiron and lactone is a diuretic, which prevents your body from absorbing too much salt. A diuretic, also called a water pill, helps you to get rid of water and salt, namely sodium. The result is an increased production of urine, which will make you pee more often. Through these effects, spironolactone can be used to decrease blood pressure, decrease the pressure on your heart, reduce edema, and protect your kidneys. Furthermore, spironolactone is also used to diagnose and treat a condition where there is too much aldosterone in your body. Aldosterone is a hormone produced by your adrenal glands, which helps to regulate the salt and water balances in your body. When you start using spironolactone, it will be effective within two to three days, which brings us to what are the correct doses to use. And here I want to mention that I can only provide you with certain guidelines. I always use the prescribed amount and frequency your doctor gave you because your specific dose can depend on your indication of use, the side effects you might experience, and much, much more. So always use the dose your doctor gave you. However, in most cases, your doctor will start with an initial dose of 25 up to 200 milligrams per day. Your doctor usually starts on the lower end and will increase your dose if necessary. Now, spironolactone is a very effective drug, but unfortunately, it can also cause some side effects. I will discuss the most common ones in this video, but if you're looking for a complete list, then ask your doctor, check your leaflet, or ask your pharmacist. Very commonly, it might cause a headache, poor digestion, diarrhea, decreased libido, and menstrual disorders. Commonly, it can cause nausea, vomiting, weakness, or postmenopausal bleeding. Rarely, it can cause blood cell disorders, paralysis or dehydration. Very rarely, it can cause acute renal failure, stomach inflation or intestinal bleeding. Which brings us to the safety of use. And when you first start using spironolactone, it can cause side effects like dizziness. If you do experience this, then please do not drive as it can be dangerous. Furthermore, combining spironolactone with alcohol could also increase the side effects you are experiencing. So try it in moderation. Next, spironolactone can have interactions with other drugs you're taking, so always discuss this with your personal doctor. And lastly, spironolactone can be dangerous for pregnant women or women which are breastfeeding, so always discuss this as well with your personal doctor. Now, I hope you know now how to use spironolactone, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section, and I will do my best to answer each and every one of them. Furthermore, if you can't get enough, then check out the playlist in the description with more awesome videos or check out the TikTok, Facebook or Instagram at How to Medicaid. Thank you all so much for watching and as always, I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye.